first. Then Nancy Kerrigan, who is in third place. Jose Suinar, the French Canadian, in sixth place, will take the ice third. Christy Yamaguchi defending her title fourth. Then Chen Lu will skate after Yamaguchi. And the last will be Tanya Harding Galuli. She'll know exactly what has to be done for her if there is a possibility to move from fourth to first or from fourth to the medal stand. Just minutes away from the first of the final six, the 1992 World Championship. Come back to the drama of the 1992 Ladies Championship of World Figure Skating. And the long shot for a medal in the final six skates first from Versailles in France. 17-year-old Letitia Hubert, fifth after the original program. She is the current world junior champion. Finished 12th France. in the Olympics in her Letitia native France Hubert. when she was a smile-popping fifth for the French after her original program and then dropped to a tearful 12th after a mistake-filled long program. Letitia Hubert. After her dismal performance in Albertville, her goal here is not necessarily to beat the other skaters, but to conquer her nerves. Nice triple loop jump. was 26 jumping all the way to six coming into this free long program Bear, 17 year old daughter of a French state policeman. He helps her in her aerobic training. And she's doing very well. When you qualify for the final group of skaters, it means you're one of the elite, and that can be awfully overwhelming for someone as, as an experience as Letitia.
Four minutes, ten seconds. It must have seemed an eternity for this young woman who lives only three miles from the beautiful palace at Versailles for centuries, the home of French kings and queens, and apparently her place in skating royalty might be in Lillehammer, the Olympics, two years from now. And when we return, American Nancy Kerrigan, currently in third place. Welcome back, and now the marks for Letitia Hubert, first for technical merit. The British judge Lois at 5-2. Some very generous marks at 3-5-7. She's young, she's inexperienced, but give her time, she has a bright future. We have to remember that last year she was ranked 26th in the world. And for artistic impression, again, the British judge didn't like what the others did. 4.8 up to a series of five sixes. Tisha Hubert, remember the name and the face. We'll be seeing her in the future. And here is the face of Nancy Kerrigan, third in the Olympics, third entering this free skating program. Her mother, Brenda, remember a year ago, she joined us in Munich and watched as we prepared to monitor for her. And, of course, you saw her during the Olympics as she needs to be that close to the set in order to discern the moves of her daughter, really can't to define the particular features. Nancy Kerrigan. of Stoneham, Massachusetts with a Katherine Hepburn features, a business student at Boston's Emanuel College located near Fenway Park.
landmark is the move that sets Man Street Skating apart. Well, gracefully, she delivered those elegant surprises in Munich last year, the bronze, the bronze medal in Alberville. But a couple critical errors in this program most likely will cost her any medal hopes. Here's the triple lutz, the attempted triple lutz that turned into a single. She worked, she worked throughout the program trying really hard to fight. And her mother then watched her make the second mistake, a touchdown. And uh, while she is legally blind that close, she knew <laughs> she had just seen and heard a problem. So Nancy Kerrigan has skated four yet to go. Letitia Hubert has skated. We'll get Kerrigan's marks in Oakland Coliseum. Two skaters, Hubert and Kerrigan, have taken the ice, four to go. And here is how you win the gold in this competition. It's fairly simple. Christy Yamaguchi places first in the free program. She wins. Chen Lu, she places first in the free program, gets the gold. Same was true of Nancy Kerrigan. Hardly likely she will finish first. And for Tanya Harding, from fourth place to win the gold, she has to win the free skate, and Yamaguchi would have to fall to third place. It's uh, basically that simple. Now the score is coming up for Nancy for Kerrigan, Nancy Kerrigan for, for technical Nancy merit. And of course, that's the punishment, the low scores for the two breaks in the program. 5-2 from the British judge, who has been consistently difficult. 5-7 high from the German. Nancy was disappointed with her long program performance in Albertville, and she was looking to better that here. And her Here's the British judge. She's been judging strangely all evening. But consistently, 5-9 high from the Croatian judge and some 5-8. So artistic impression, the strength of Kerrigan, and she is rewarded. Those marks good enough to move her ahead of Hubert. And next on the ice, Jose Swinar, the Canadian champion a year ago, second this year, 22-year-old French-Canadian in sixth after the original program. She lives in Laval, Quebec, across the St. Lawrence Seaway from Montreal.
The 22 year old Canadian star with a Mary Tyler Moore smile. Jose Swinar. A troubled free program. Like Letitia and Nancy, this is only her second year in Worlds, and it's hard. The inexperience does show up. With Midori Ito, the silver medalist at Alberville, not here because of a chronic respiratory problem. Uh, some of the younger skaters hoping that would allow the door to be open for them to get a medal. And there's the woman to beat. The defending world champion, the Olympic champion, Christy Yamaguchi. She's next. Back at the World Figure Skating Championships, Christy Yamaguchi will be skating next. Uh, first, let's go to Tom Hammond. Dick with Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy, you never seem to find your rhythm. You struggled in the warm-up, and things just didn't go well. Do you know what was wrong? Um, it's just been a rough time since the Olympics, getting back into it. There's been so much going on, a lot of distractions. And we didn't have much time to get used to the ice here, and I couldn't, like, visualize my rank at home and just be real comfortable with it. So I think it was, you know, a combination of a lot of things, but it wasn't totally bad. I did get some good marks. Thank you very much for coming out. Dick? All right, Tom, and now the marks being posted for technical merit, merit for... 5.3. Jose. Uh, 5.3. And they are from a uh, low of 5.1 to a high of 5.5. Five, five. Although she was up and down in the program, she did land four triples. She had a solid and attempt on the triple lot. And for artistic impression, five point five. not five point uh, three. that bad, five but not good four. enough either to move her ahead five of either four. Kerrigan or Hubert, who are still five one, two, three in front of uh, Swinar. And now Christy Yamaguchi will have her turn. Favored to win the gold again. The home favorite of this crowd, 20 years old. She's the youngest of the three U.S. skaters. From nearby Fremont, California, a 20-minute drive down the freeway. You talked about the clean program would win the gold medal here, and so far we've not seen that. That is the strength of Yamaguchi. Her mother, Carol, who was born in a internment camp during World War II. Father spent time there as well. They've never expressed any bitterness about that experience, only pride in being Americans. And how proud they are as she comes home in her effort to repeat the world gold medal, Christy Yamaguchi. jumps including a combination all landed impeccably
ever seen her in competition. It's the next jump that she fell on in Albertville. Triple foul cow, her nemesis. The only time she's ever been able to land it was at U.S. Nationals, but good for her for trying it. That leaves the door open for Chen Lu and Tanya Harding. She has one last big one to go. Her second triple lutz. A hero's greeting for Christy Yamaguchi. Just a wonderful, wonderful performance. Here's the opening combination, the triple lutz, triple toe loop. Just beautifully done. She landed six triple jumps, two in combination. Tell me she is just an artist and not an athlete. Here's the triple foul that she fell on. She was very slow going into it. Didn't have the momentum to land it. But she's got to be happy. They shower the ice with flowers for Yamaguchi. The competition continues. Two to go. We're back in Christy Yamaguchi strings to see the marks for technical merit despite the fall on the south cow. There are five nines, three of them. And a low from the British judge, 5-7. Good marks. They have left a little room. The next mark should go up. Thank you. Interesting to point out that uh, no U.S. judge in the nine making their opinion. And all five nines except for the British judge, Christy Yamaguchi. It'll be very difficult to beat her for the gold. The immediate pretender to Yamaguchi's throne, Chen just 15, Lu. Chen Lu, the youngest of the top six going into this free program from Changchun in northeast China. She first skated in the U.S. last year on this very ice in Skate America 91, scored a stunning fourth at a terrific Olympics, finishing sixth, second coming into the free.
Chinese skater to win a world medal. of a choreography. Uh -oh. A double on the triple loop. But it's her understanding of, of the finer details and the subtlety at this age, at 15, is staggering. Her arms, the tilt of her head. It's wonderful choreography. Daughter of athletic parents, both starred at the province level. Her mother, a table tennis hero. Her father, an ice hockey player. Her second triple lot. And this is where her age shows up. Perfect yesterday in her execution in the short program and fatigue and nerves may have taken their toll today. One left to go. Tanya Harding of Portland, Oregon. We'll be back after these words from your local station. Being posted for Chen Lu, first for technical merit, and those are low. Swiss judge 5-2. 5.6. 5.6. 5.5. So, Krista Yamaguchi is assured of the gold medal. She can't fall to third. And so, even if Harding skates the performance of any skater's life, she could not pass Yamaguchi. She has repeated it world champion, the, as world champion, the artistic impression. Wide range from 5.1 to 5.8. And so, Tanya Harding now with an opportunity to finish, well, anywhere but first. She can't beat Yamaguchi, but she can medal. Second in Munich a year ago, the skating powerhouse from Portland, Oregon. The only married competitor, an asthmatic. U.S. national champion a year ago, silver behind Yamaguchi in the world. This year, trouble-filled, struggled to third in the Nationals, finished away from a medal fourth in Alberville.
first American to ever land that triple axel, second only to Midori Ito in history, but unable to connect again. So two breaks in her program, Kerrigan currently in second. She wants the medal here. Boubert, the teenager from France, is in third. Will she medal? to return to the podium. Was there a bronze or a silver in that performance? She reduced her difficulty. Well, she only landed two triples, Tanya the jumper. I think she's going to have to chalk this season up to more lessons learned. Here's the triple axel. Nice height but awfully close to the board. She dropped her right shoulder on the landing and just wasn't able to hold it. It was the same error that she made in Albertville. She was hitting that triple axel in practice earlier in the week. But not in warm-up, <laughs> just prior to the event. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? So Tanya harding Galoli told us she's <laughs> taken up a new hobby. She says, I'm into bowling now, and I've got the brightest pink bowling ball that money can buy. Hoping to hit a strike here and may not have picked up the spare. Currently, it's Yamaguchi, Kerrigan, Hubert of France, surprisingly, in third, Lu Chen in fourth, Sweenar of Canada fifth. Where will that performance fit in the top six? Well, triple back out the first one is huge. Just huge. Christy Yamaguchi, not much drama there. She knows. She has completed the triple. The Nationals for the first time early this year, then the Olympics, and now another world championship. And after watching all the programs from all the other ladies, it makes you realize how well Christy has done and how well she's handled the pressure here. And you made an excellent point, and I know as Christy Yamaguchi's a friend and choreographer, that it bothers you that she's always referred to as petite and graceful and elegant. No one talks about her being an athlete. <laughs> you made that point very clear, and so did she on the ice. 
And now the marks for Tanya Harding. A low of 5.0 from the Swiss judge and the British judge. And that for strength technical merit will be uh, punishing a set of numbers to assimilate. <laughs> and they reflect the lack of jump. And for artistic impression, higher marks than for technical merit. So that's the change that she's making in her skating life. It drops her into sixth place overall. The big surprise here in Oakland, California. Well, Hubert, because of the system of skating and comparing and by judges to each skater, Chen Lu moves into third ahead of Uber. So Yamaguchi, the winner of the gold, Kerrigan, the silver, and Lu Chen, ladies the bronze. Tom? The of the ladies championship Christy, uh, this was really the first time in international competition that you were expected to win. How did you deal with that uh, additional pressure? Well, I wasn't really thinking of expecting to win. I wanted to come in and skate well in front of a lot of friends and family, and I'm glad I was able to keep it together so well. Was it difficult to stay focused after winning the gold at the Olympics? It was a little tough coming back into the training, but uh, once I realized that the World Championships are only a couple weeks away, I got right back into it and was excited to be here. And here before your home folks, did you seem to draw energy from uh, all the friendly voices in the crowd? Oh, it was. It was wonderful. They were a great crowd, and you know, I hope this championship does a lot for figure skating here in California. Big decision for you coming up, whether to turn professional or not. When will you make the decision? Well, I'm sure uh, that decision will be made soon. I'm not sure whether it will be before I leave for the U U.S. ISU tour or after. Are you leaning one way or the other? Well, I'm not so sure. I still enjoy performing very much, and it's uh, hard to think of my life without competition. Right now. Congratulations. Dick, with all those gold medals piling up, she may be too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Amher is a resident of uh, Fremont, California, the home uh, base of Christy Yamaguchi. Here are the final standings. The U.S. wins gold and silver, Yamaguchi and Kerrigan. The brilliant 15-year-old Chen Lu takes the bronze, and, oh, we're going to be hearing about her in the years to come. Uber, boy, she'll go home with a big smile to Versailles with fourth place. Twinar fifth for Canada, Tanya Harding, a disappointing sixth, the United States. Stay with us. We'll show you the medal performance. This large